Welcome to the last lecture of this module of basic concepts of engineering mathematics which is theory of equations. So in this lecture we will see certain equations and the rules and certain theories. So first we will see a linear equation in one variable. Very simple ax plus b equals to 0 so if you want to find x, x could be written as minus b by a. Quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and how to get the value of x. Two methods are there. First you can either factorize it or you can use the Sridhar, Sridhar Acharya's method. So the roots could be given by this minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay and do you know what is this called? b square minus 4ac has been given a special name called discriminant. Okay so d we represent it with capital letter D called as discriminant. Then let's see the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac. If your discriminant is greater than 0 then your roots will be real and distinct. If your discriminant is equal to 0 the roots will be real and equal. If your discriminant is less than 0 the roots will be complex conjugates. Algebraic equation. An equation f of x equals to 0 where f of x contains algebraic functions. What are algebraic functions? Polynomial, rational functions are called algebraic functions. Then we have transcendental functions. An equation f of x equals to 0 where f of x contains non-algebraic functions. So trigonometric functions, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, hyperbolic functions, all these functions comes under the category of non-algebraic okay, and which are called as transcendental functions. Moving to polynomial equations. A polynomial equation has the form. So this is the general form of writing any polynomial. Okay, a n to the into x to the power of n plus a n minus one x to the power n minus one and so on. What you need to remember is the results. A is the root of f of x if and only if if f of a is equal to zero. So this will be small a. So I will call a root of f of x when your f of a will be 0 okay unless and until this condition is not satisfied we cannot say that to be a root moreover factor theorem if a is a root of f of x equals to 0 when this can happen it can happen only when if x minus a is a factor of f of x okay then we have another rule that is every polynomial equation of nth degree has exactly n roots it may be real, it may be imaginary, doesn't matter. Let's say ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So what is the degree? The degree is 2. So here we can say the values of x will be, there will be two values. There will be two values. Why? Because the degree of the equation is 2. Now every polynomial equation of odd degree has at least one real root. What is telling? is telling that every polynomial equation so let's say if I am writing ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0 so this is a polynomial equation having an odd degree what is the degree degree is 3 so for this particular equation this will have at least one real root compulsorily okay so there will be a compulsory one real root for every polynomial equation of odd degree. Then we have Descartes rule of sign very simple. A polynomial equation say f of x equals to 0 cannot have more positive roots than there are ch changes in sign in f of x and cannot have more negative roots than their changes of sign in f of minus x in a polynomial equation. Okay. So number of positive real roots will always be less than or equal to the number of sign changes in the coefficient of f of x and the number of negative real roots will always be less than or equal to the number of sign changes in the coefficients of f of minus x. So once you start applying all these uh, rules you will understand how to use it. You should remember that if all the coefficients are positive then the equation has no positive real root. What does it mean? Say if I write 2x square, if I write 
two x square plus four x plus three equals to zero. So this is a polynomial of degree two. So that means this x will have two roots, root one, root two. Okay, it could be any value. I don't know, but all these two values. there will be no positive real root so there will be no positive real root okay so there will be no positive real root it could be imaginary it could be negative doesn't matter but the if the coefficients are all positive so then the equation has no positive real root if the coefficients of even powers of x are all of one sign and the coefficients of odd powers are all of opposite sign then the polynomial equation f of x equals to 0 has no negative real roots so there are certain relations that and these rules that if you remember it's easier for you to solve aptitude questions and the fundamental basic questions related to engineering mathematics the third rule if the equation contains only even powers of x then the coefficients are all of same sign the equation has no real root this is another relation next if a equation contains only odd powers of x and the coefficients are all of the same sign then the equation has no real root except x equals to 0 so in a polynomial equation this is the general form of polynomial equation sum of roots will be equal to minus a1 by a0 sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time will be minus 1 whole square into a2 by a0 sum of products of roots taken three at a time this will be three at a time will be minus 1 whole to the power of 3 into a3 by a0 and so on product of roots will be given as minus 1 whole to the power of n into an by a0 so these are some filtered standard fundamental results so it's suggested that you mug it up remember learn by heart if you do that trust me you there will not be any numerical or any problem or any question in which you will stuck so it's suggested that please do remember this take the snapshot learn it because many of the students simply take these things casually and they leave all these fundamental simple equations okay so if you wish you can learn this with this we have completed the module of basic concepts of engineering mathematics now you can go to the playlist of linear algebra or the core of engineering mathematics see you in the next lecture till then bye